Hello everyone, how are you this new moon? Everyone is having a wonderful time. Full moon was right around full moon. We got hit by a huge, huge storm and got like, like amounts, it's not like that's not, okay, of uh, like snow. I've been painting all day. And I, was, I have this habit of just, if there's a paper around, I'll test colors or whatever, wipe things on it which often leads to wet paint and wet things around the desk area, which I also compute on and film on. So back, back to this story. We had this huge snowstorm, I mean, like probably about 20 inches total. Not all of it stuck though, so it's always hard to say. I mean, it was like up to your knees. It was just hideous. There is actually a video because it was so hideous um, <laughs> that I'm just like, I'm gonna make a video. And, like internet was out for two days tv was like spotty to like get one station you just couldn't change it because nothing else worked if you got one station there's points where we didn't get any stations because the satellites were in the snow so heavy up high that nothing was really getting through it was just like <sighs> so everything was like late and mucked up and yeah yeah it's life but you know what can you do you just roll with it and you do what you can do and that's all you can do so um, um, um what is happening um, there are several pieces of art two pieces of art up for sale at this point in time abstract right and abstract art so if you want to go take a look at those click on the art button click 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 handmade affirmation cards are still available and really more and more as I if they're out of my system so I don't know I, my original plan was to do another round next year but I don't know those could be it, it it's very much it's painting so it's very much what I'm feeling at that point in time and what I'm feeling is very much kind of just very intuitive faces right now really working a lot with faces and focal things and things. Both of these are works in progress. Um, but so affirmations cards are still on for sale. You can always book a full moon reading. Links are down below. So yeah, uh, what's going on in your life? Anything interesting? Leave a comment below. But yeah, just life's just like it. You know, it gets crazy sometimes, and the weather is kind of like not been very sunny either. And it's just the roads are really hard. It's hard to get around walking. So there's not a lot of getting out of the house at the moment. Just kind of like, eh, I have weather angst really bad. Usually weather angst doesn't really happen until sometime in late December. And it's already like, oh, yeah, it's happened in November this year. So this month we have the Heart of Fairy Oracle deck by Froud and um, Sacred Rose. Just don't keep reaching for Sacred Rose a lot. I really enjoy it. Okay, let's go. Pick a card for the new moon. Ooh, Lady of Faith. In this deck, Heart of Fairy is technically a relationship deck. Um, it has my most favorite back probably ever on a card. I just love that back with a sack of piscus and stuff. Hearts and trees and roots and wings and yeah. Just, yeah. Very cool. Lady of Faith, but um, I find it also works very well for other things, not just relationships. Lady of Faith. So, what you doubting? What you doubting right now? What are you unsure of? And why? Is it your inner critic being a big old jerk saying, oh, you just suck, you can't do this, you can't whatever it? Or is it just something not working? You know, there, there's a difference between having faith that it's going to happen and, and knowing that something you're doing is not working. You know, it's like I knew my health coaching thing that I tried to do was not working. And it just was not working. But I was still trying to have faith in that not workingness. And it wasn't working, but that led me to where I am. To the point where I'm like, 
that day. I said, let's see if we can sell some readings. And ta-da, here I am. And there was just this faith that I could take what I learned from that other aspect and move it into another one. And that's what I did. I just changed where that faith was, was focused on. You know, it's, it's not about chasing windmills or illusions or falsehoods. It's about staying the course as opposed to be like, oh my God, it didn't work in a month. It's not good. Maybe it needs longer than a month. Maybe you need to have faith that in six months, that's when it's going to start working. How can you keep acting? How can you have faith? How can you know as much as she knows? I just always love the look on her face. Like It's like she's smelling the future or something. It's like she can just smell that faith is working. So how can you have faith? How can you bring faith in right now? That faith that it's going to be okay. Faith that it's going to work. Faith that you know what to do. I don't feel like she calls for blind faith. She's not asking you to blindly fail follow her and I feel like my lighting is really weird today like this weird partly cloudy thing going on so it's like there's blue sky and then the sun where the sun would be is all very heavily clouded okay so this is the sacred rest for we're using this I keep wanting to say month because each moon is a month full moon month and new moon month I always find the month so challenging this time of year because I took Latin. I have like three years of Latin and it November's the ninth month in Latin. Nine, novo, nine. And so every once in a while I like try to make it the ninth month and I'm like, oh shit, it's the 11th month. December's the 10th month. No, it's the 12th month. October 8th, September 7th, Augustus. Well, thank you, Julius Caesar, for not using a number. Augustus meaning king. Julius Caesar Augustus. Whole different thing there. That was very interesting when you had like that whole um instead of like because the power in Rome was very vested within the Senate and they pretty much gave that all away to Caesar. It's very interesting watching current dynamics and having studied ancient history of Rome especially because it's like whoop, wait 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 bread and circuses give away the government mm -mm, don't do it people very interesting to watch correlations though and yes history lesson is now done ooh, 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 who we got here <gasps> okay I feel like these ooh. I feel like we've had some really kind of like exciting cards that are like more Yay! And as opposed to like, hey, here's some change. <laughs> Scraping off your, you know, exterior and moving you into big, different parameters. Which is good too, but you know, there's times where you just want to like get confirmations and be like, yeah! So we got the Lady of Faith. You say trust us, trust us, just keep doing, keep learning, you have faith, keep your actions up. And we got the Nine of Pentacles, who I feel is kind of the action here. He's kind of like, the, yeah, we're, we're going, we're moving, we're rolling, and we're going to bring in our wealth and prosperity and abundance and family fun. We're just going to just keep on moving through into our prosperity. Whether you're where you want to be or not, refining that, or if you're not there yet. I'm not there yet. I'm getting there, though. And I'll take that Nine of Pentacles and I'll harness that energy he can have for you. Because, you know, he, he's kind of, it's earth and da, 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 earth, earth, air. Yep, he's there. So he's like earth and air, which can be like that storm bogged down. Or it can take your ideas and make them into reality. And I always like to try and harness that, make dreams into reality. How can I take my ideas? How can I take my ideas? And sometimes your ideas, you know, are just paintings. Like, I paint. So some of my weird little ideas out of my brain come out of my paintings. 
so this is one way that I take my ideas and make manifest how I bring them into reality. Sometimes, you know, painting, because for me this is not just a painting, this is a spiritual practice and a variation of Ganesha, even though it's not. Ganesha, for me, remover of obstacles. How can I remove the obstacles? How can I use this painting to remove those obstacles? Ideas become reality. How can I act within my business to make my ideas reality? How can I create a class and keep that rolling to make that class become what I want it to be in the future? It's that kind of stuff. It's like ideas in action. It's like, okay, I have this awesome idea. I'm going to pitch it to my boss or whomever you are trying to pitch to. Or maybe you want to move somewhere else and your spouse is kind of like, mm -hmm, take that idea and let her see the dream of the idea. And if you two want to make it manifest together, make it happen, make it reality. So action, doing, taking the ideas and not just thinking about them right now, but moving into them and really finding the wonderfulness in there. And the other card is the Two of Cups. And this really has the feel of like, not so much the choice of like people, of love, and uniting love, but kind of more the, a union within the self. A, a willingness to kind of take these two things and see how they work together. A willingness to bring in different concepts that you feel may not work together and see how they play together. How can they be meshed together in a union of love? You know, there's points of time where I'm like, how do I take this spiritual business and throw some art on top of it? You know, it felt at one point like they were two very different creatures. And I said to myself one day, you know what? I don't care if they're two different creatures. I'm going to do it all under the same umbrella of my Queen of Wands. Forget. It's too hard to have another site. So I created a union of those two aspects of my business. It has turned into something that works very well together. But when I started, it felt like it did. I didn't know what I was going to do with it. So it's that kind of thing. It's like, it doesn't necessarily have to be here and there. It can just feel like it. So just remember that. Feeling counts in this kind of stuff. It's like... So you got your faith going on. So let's look at it this way. So we got our faith. We got to trust. We got to trust the process right now. We got to trust that we can trust ourselves. And we have faith in what we're doing and what we're trying to bring about because we got the Nine of Pentacles here. And he wants us to take our ideals and create them and create them in reality, not just in our little brains. Don't think about it. Start doing it. Make, start taking the action steps that make it happen. Snow started falling from the tree. Like, what's that movement? <laughs> but so we got the ideas into reality. And then we got these things that feel like, oh, wait, they don't fit in with that concept of ideas into reality or something in this ideas of reality is kind of like jingly jangly and not feeling like they fit. So keep moving into that and see if it does fit. Because sometimes by acting, we unite things. And we don't know that they're going to unite within our within themselves. We just don't get it. We don't see it at first. But sometimes we just keep going over and having that faith that it's all just going to be okie dokie is what it takes. So very, very powerful. Acting, doing, believing, trusting all themes. And, you know, it kind of goes back to that whole... Not even so much the snake energy, so it just still very much been with us a lot. Um, but the spider dream weaving energy that's been around a lot too. Weave your dreams into reality, people, says be a mother spider. So you can do it. Okay, let's pick an affirmation card. Be it, begin, soar. Fits very well with that reading, people, so... Faith. Be the faith. Begin the ideas in 
to reality and well to cup soar soar with it let them ignite let things just be what they are and, and find where they fit together as opposed to finding the ways they don't fit together sometimes we just have to be like whatever it may not make sense to other people but if it kind of makes sense to you or could potentially make sense to you then you just need to go with it so be it begin and soar it's not a time just to kind of pull back. It's, it's You can pull back from people, so not so much the action steps within you or what you're trying to create. Just just go out there and be awesome, people. Be awesome-mo. South Park. I think that was from South Park. Awesome-mo. Didn't they have like a little robot that was awesome-mo? <clears throat> I don't remember. It's been a while since I watched I like the old South Parks mostly. Are they still on? I don't even know. I watch so little TV these days. Okay, be it begin soar. I'm, I'm babbling. Uh, what's happening? There's some art up for sale. Did I mention that? I don't even remember what I talked about. <sighs> that, that's the thing with these. It's like I do them and it's like I kind of, I know I did them, but I really, by the time I'm done and gone, it's just like, whoosh. I don't remember it fully. It's Kind of one of those weird dichotomies. Okay, 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 okay. If you want book a new book a new moon reading, links are below. If you just want to book a reading in general, links are below. Yeah. Um, Get Crystal goes on sale December first, people. So mark that on your calendar. Um, it's originally one hundred eleven dollars. It'll be on sale for ninety dollars. So rank it on your thing. Okay, remember, have faith, bring your ideas into reality, and let that union happen, because you can be it, you can begin it, and you can soar people. Much love, and I will see you at the full moon in December. I think I'm going to do Vlogmas this year, thinking really I'm going to do Vlogmas this year. Last couple of years, it just hasn't worked out. So look for Vlogmas. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm doing it. So I've already kind of started planning to do it. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching. And I will see you at the full moon in December. Bye-bye.